Hi and welcome to this week's video, another review video for you. Olight sent out uh, one of their latest lights, the Perum 2. Um, it's got 166 meters the light will go and the maximum of 2500 luminance. It comes in their usual beautiful style box with a magnetic opening. The little message inside. Got the plastic insert here. Remove that. That gives us the basic instructions. Inside we've got. Let's have a look in here. This is the charging dock. Clips on just to so it holds in your hand, and we'll find out what that bit is. Inside here, nice foam protector on it. Pull this out. Oh, nice weight to this one. So that's the torch there, the on and off switch, and that's a protective film just on there. A really good weight. It's got this clip on again, which is so handy, and the magnetic bottom, which means you can stick it anywhere again. Put this out of here. Great um, boxes on this. So neat. This is a head strap here. And this part holds your torch in there so it faces out the way. I'll have a look at that in a minute. Okay, so the charging dock comes off there. And this little bit here just sticks like a magnet to the bottom. Plugs into your normal USB plug. Okay, so having a read of this. So the advice before we go any further is to take this protective film off here and then you have to unscrew it just like the last one to remove the protective film for the battery which is there So, I'll go and get that charged now. That's ready for the charging. So, that's us out testing the light out. I've used a headband and I've got the torch in, um, inside that headband so I didn't have to carry anything. The destination here is a place called Bewley which is outside Inverness in the Scottish Highlands. Uh, it's a priory. It was built around uh, 12.30 and Bewley means beautiful so um, they say that the monks must have liked it here and that's why uh, they built one. I think there's three of these abbeys around this area. Absolutely stunning place. It's obviously kept and you can freely walk in and out there, you don't have to pay to get in there and it's not gated off. Thankfully there's never been any vandalism of it, it's kept beautifully. And usually, um, in summers without COVID, it actually has outdoor lights, but at the minute, um, the lights are all off. I presume it was just, they were just discouraging people from going in. There's several different rooms in this abbey here. The torch had no problem lighting up the whole abbey. It didn't struggle at all, and it's like daylight. It was like daylight in front of me when I was walking around. It was so bright. There's a little chapel part here. I don't fully know the history of, of this place and I would really have to read it off something to tell you, but there's there's tombs inside of there. Such such a beautiful place. 
and it's beautiful in the sun the way the sun comes through the the windows and that during the day but this building was no match for that torch i tell you it uh, it was fantastic it is going to be brilliant being out and about even camping and that or geocaching or mushroom picking so that's the whole length of the church there and uh, this is really the final part of the video I love this torch it's as good as the last one I'm so impressed by the Olight torches I'm going to leave all the links below the affiliate links the links for the sale because there is a big sale coming up today so if you want to get in on that check the links out down below um, and go and check Olight out an absolutely fantastic torch, the best I've ever come across.